Creating scallop motifs in Affinity Designer is a fun way to add a touch of elegance and whimsy to your portfolio. By mastering the use of simple curves and repetition, you can create beautifully balanced patterns that are perfect for everything from textiles to wallpaper. The best part? Creating scallops is not as difficult as you may think. In fact, in this class, I'm going to show you three ways to create your own scallop patterns in Designer that aren't difficult at all. In fact, they're super fun. Hey everyone, I'm Tracy, an illustrator and designer from the Chicago area, and welcome to my next class in my Pattern Toolkit series, where we focus on a specific pattern or theme of patterns in a variety of applications. With each lesson, you'll walk away from class with a new design for your portfolio, as well as experience and tools that can expand your creativity in surface pattern design and beyond. Designer is packed with tons of amazing tools, but in this class, we're going to focus on a handful of them to make beautiful scallop shapes for our designs. Throughout class, we'll look at how to break an ellipse up into multiple curves and put it back together as a single scallop shape. Next, we'll use a group of ellipse shapes and the vector flood fill tool to create a perfectly sized scallop ready to use as a template or to fill in with solid shapes. We'll follow that up by creating a wavy scallop using a single cloud shape that's already built into Designer. As a bonus, I'll show you how to take a single scallop shape and turn it into a fun OG design. With all of our shapes, we'll talk about how the size of the shape that you start with helps determine the size you end up with. We'll also talk about how to set up your canvas and your initial motif for efficiency. Because when you think ahead to what you want your final outcome to be and set up your initial shape with that in mind, you can quickly and easily create tons of scallop patterns at any scale for your print on demand needs and design portfolio. Now I'll be using the desktop version of Designer version two. Most tools used in the class are available on the iPad version as well, with the exception of the move data entry feature. But for those of you on the iPad, you'll still be able to follow along using traditional power duplicate methods. Now I do want to note, while this class is beginner friendly, it does assume some familiarity with Designer and the overall surface pattern design process. We're not going to be reviewing the interface in this class, so it's important that you're comfortable with where the tools are located, as well as the basics of how Designer works in order to have a successful time with this class. So are you ready to add some scallop patterns to your pattern toolkit? If so, come join me in class and let's get started.